Today I'm going to show you a car that you buy with your heart. It's an absolute rocket ship. It's a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. They don't call it an SRT8 anymore, it's an SRT. This vehicle has only done 56,000 Ks. So you're talking, 2013 has done 7,500 Ks a year. Obviously owned by an enthusiast because that's what this is. Taking a look at the vehicle, the body works very nice. When these vehicles came out, this was definitely the most popular color. But if you run down the sides, clean bodywork, great looking motor car. It does have stone chips on the bonnet. I'm not wanting to respray the bonnet, possibly touch up. Obviously this guy lived on stone roads, so you've got stone chips, you've got a, a nick here. What differentiates this Grand Cherokee from the others are the vents on the bonnet. They've done a really good styling job. Tires are all good. I reckon you've got 70 to 80 percent life out of them and it's shot on Pirelli's. 20 inch run flats, custom SRT rim. You might notice those red calipers. This car goes like the clappers but it can also stop. As factory standard they fit it with Brembo bags. This is probably the angle that most SUVs would see this vehicle from, but it is a great, it's a great view. It has electric tailgate, very handy if you've got a handful of shopping. And the seats do roll down so you get in the state. As I say, apart from the stone chips on the bonnet, I can't fault the car. We haven't done any work to it. But you ought to listen to this. Just running you down the left hand side of the motor car. But this is where this animal comes into its own. You're talking a 6.4 normally aspirated V8, putting up 344 kilowatts and over 600 Newton meters of torque. So it's more power than you need, but nice to have it. Let's have a look at the engine bay. A mighty mole. 6.4 liter Hemi. With this many cc's, it doesn't need to be sophisticated to deliver the kind of power that we're talking about. Taking a look inside, you can see this car hasn't done much mileage. It hasn't a lot of wear on the seats at all. Front, memory seats, bucket seats, obviously. The SRTs get this carbon inlay as well. Panoramic roof. This car has every extra that Jeep can fit on it. The buys in on lights, electric memory seats. It's got cruise control, MF steering, and great big paddle shifts. This, this car, as, as we said, is the most amazing car ever. It's a sports car. It's a full-out sports car. In fact, let's try the road control. The roads are quiet. It's insane. Insane. It is the most fun you can have in a car. 5.1, and that's rubbish. If you did it properly, the guys were saying on the net, you can get this down to 0 to 100 in about 4.5 seconds. That's ridiculous. The Porsches that we've been driving are 5.2. Obviously, it is specced as a top spec of a Jeep. Uh, paddle shifts, but a decent size one. Very nice laid out dashboard, nice digital gauges. You can drive this car fully off the steering. You know, behind here, you've got your radio controls, cruise control here, your the lane passing. Every, everything is right at your touch here. It's got Brembo brakes, uh, Bilstein shocks. So, this is an SUV sports car. In fact, I was listening to a guy who said it's the fastest SUV you can get barring the Porsche Cayenne, which is over twice the price new of this car. These new models are eight speed, so you're always in the right gear. You've got sport track, uh, towing mode, snow. I've had a lot of Jeeps and uh, the one thing is the 4x4 system is fantastic as well as the performance you've got here. It's, this is a, a 6.4 litre V8, normally aspirated. Not like all the German manufacturers now who are going to turbos to get their power. This gets it from the KISS principle. Keep it simple, make it big, and it will go fast, and it does. As we said earlier, it's not a car you buy with your head, you buy this with your heart. Best deal is when a guy or a partner is told by the other partner, you can't get a sports car because we've got kids, you come home with this car and you tick all the boxes.